couple things. So that's a piece of our grandma. Well, both of them. So um, shout out to him and Love like y'all here. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. It helps out the page a lot. I really share. appreciate y'all. Share it too, man. Yeah, we here to stay. Consistency is key. That ain't yeah, just man. a hashtag. We here to stay. And we're going to end out the year with a couple nice interviews. I promise that. I promise that. Just like Brown Brown make promises. Niggas making promises. <laughs> I promise. LeBron promises don't always go through, but you know, you know what we don't talk about that. Every, not, every not right second now. year. When you sound when you speak like that, when you say shit like I just said, then you sound like a hater and I'm not a hater. Alright, let's not say uh six, seven. He promised Miami multiple chips. That's not what he said. <laughs> He promised the multiple chips, he got them too. That's not what he said. He promised Cleveland one, he, he got it. He ain't say one, two, or three. That nigga said five, not six, six not seven, seven, not eight. <laughs> he was hyping. That shit was, was not was sarcasm. Hyped. I don't want to hear it. Relax. <laughs> he was hyping. Like, he was young. lying about that shit, but he ain't lying about Cleveland when he went home. And yeah, he, he got the Lakers back to uh, the promised land and on top of where I'm, I'm a Knicks fan, but the Lakers is like the team of the NBA. So he got them back to where they belong. He did it for Kobe. I'm not mad at that. Shout out to Rondo. My boy got two rings. Shout out to Danny Green. You know what I'm saying? Tall Hill kid. Three teams, three chips. Three different franchises. Back to back champ. Only back to back champ. What we talk about? Talk about the missed threes. Or talk about them two back to back rings, though. Kill him, bro. What the comments? Kill him more than one. Fuck him. I said, bro. Like they, was, like they wasn't up and had one game to go. What I say in the beginning of the series, I'm not worried about the streaky shooters. They there because they could make the shots make when them. you need. When you need or even when you don't need. They're going to make the shots. But if they miss, you can't kill them for missing. <laughs> That's like you killing Mike Miller for not making certain shots. Like, bro, he don't do that. He doesn't shoot. Danny Green played a little deep. Danny Green is he was he was a um he was a great Yo, addition relax to on Danny team. Green, man. That's Tar my Hill. Lions fans, you're Tar Hill, New York nigga, stop playing, man. <laughs> Watch your mouth, he ain't that's light skin. That's man. my you know that's, that's my son. Man. I fuck with Danny Green, man. Fuck out here. Stop playing, man. That's why I am glad that we didn't shoot as soon as that game happened and I ain't kill him, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't kill him when it happened. I was like, LeBron made the right play and he barely missed that shit. He made the right play that he shouldn't have. And I think, right. <laughs> see how you said, all right? Yeah, yeah. I think that's the problem when we talk about this shit. It's like with LeBron, his game set, he is going to make the right play. He's going to make the right basketball play. Yeah. And that goes on to the other hand, while I tell you, here is a little. I mean, he could have like, took that up. Foul I mean, or not he, foul, he, he did miss it, or he not did miss. It six straight drives. Yeah. We're not going to act like him and Jimmy wasn't going back and forth, but he was just going to lay for the layups. I don't know exactly. What the double team coming? I don't know so, exactly what goes through his head at that particular moment that, that we talk about. That's why you. It, yeah, so he know he turns it back, he knows the double's coming. That's like a nerd trying to wait. talk to a girl and he says something disrespectful but it's not disrespectful but in his mind it's like an obvious thing you know what I'm saying? it's <laughs> like, like a nerve getting the baddest chick in the school but she want him right and everything's going well until she start to come back with him but he don't know he goes back into nerd mode like, it always like oh you, you watch the the facebook movie social network yeah where he told her you go to boston university you don't need to study like in his mind that's not disrespectful but it's right. this, but that's the right thing to say. Like LeBron, that pass is the right thing to do. But, but you could have said it or did it another way. You could have laid it up. Or you could have said, can we just take another hour to just chill and then you can go study? <laughs> Turn around and shoot that jumper, bro. You up 3-1. Take that left spin. Shoot that shit. What if it go in? Yeah. That creates the legend, right? It's and, like, and, oh, and, and, and it some, definitely sends them home. Shoot the ball, Bum, bro. Kyrie. Shoot the ball. Bum, Kyrie. Just shoot it. That kills Kyrie, right? Just yeah. <laughs> but just shoot it, bro. I don't care if he missed Danny Green is. It, it, it's more than Danny Green is. You don't care like, that Danny Green And even if he makes it, makes it, it turns, jump it turns, back. Oh, it. Right. <laughs> it turns into damn, bro. Why you pass the rock? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is like if we on the court. I'm killing, killing, killing. Then it's like, all right, five seconds left. The double been coming the whole court. I'm like. 
Not. Yeah. Why the fuck I'm giving him the ball? He, as much as you like, ha, 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 I'm not giving you the ball, bro. I'm either gonna turn that shit over or miss. And I got Kobe beat with heavy up. Yo, championship. Yo, listen, listen, man. You, I understand you celebrating for your Lakers, but don't hit the LeBron fan. You know? Oh, Lakers fans hit you? Yeah. Niggas hit me like, yo, how many more you think he gonna get us? What? <laughs> I said, yo, he gonna retire after this year. <laughs> it's like, so y'all can see how AD will do don't Nah, no, let me not do that. <laughs> Nigga, no. I see you. <laughs> nah, I mean, it's a third bro. <laughs> Couple Lakers fans hit me up like, nah, because you they, don't, don't, they don't like your man there. They don't. They don't like your man But there. now you respect it. Do you? Do you though? I believe they do. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I think a few. Are we I think, to do it? That's what they used to, bro. They used yeah. to dynasty. So that's what one Lakers fan told me. I does one. All right, but you can't be, you can't be too uh-uh because 10 years. Even though that ain't nothing for a Lakers fan, I understand that. You know what I'm saying? But Excuse we're not going to act like y'all wasn't lost. tired and losses lost. with the Knicks. They just lost. <laughs> worse. <laughs> six years. Worse. Worse than the mouth. Knicks. They were worse. The six but years. But I let them because they got the ring. But they <laughs> were worse. <laughs> but uh, it's not act like they didn't get that second pick. They not, they that, not that, used to not that shit. like they have two. Second pick. They're not used to that. Angelo Russell. Right? Mm-hmm. And they had Lonzo Ball. They also got Brandon Ingram at like number five. So. They even got um, Zubats in one of them drafts. Uh, so, um, what I was saying was, damn, you fucked me up. Uh, Lakers. So. I fucked you up with that dick shit. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't the Knicks shit. Yeah, it wasn't the Knicks shit. But what I was saying was, these Laker fans, right, uh-huh. they didn't like your man going there because the circus that came with it. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not necessarily guys like you, but guys like you. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And That tells a Laker fan, yo, you know yo, what you got, right? You know, we in the building. Fuck you talking about? You know what you got. Clear it right? out. You know what you got, right? And they like, bro. They like, bro, chill. They ain't even. Right. Like, we got Kobe. Yeah. Second year. But, you know, to say is like, when, that, that's what I was going to say. My man going to pick up after that. four rings on the phone. But, right? like, like you said, you can't do that. It's been 10 years. Bro, I'm a Yankee fan. <clears throat> even though they just lost. That's what I was saying. That shit. That's, that stigma doesn't change no matter how many years we lost. We got 27 chips. Mm-hmm. Suck my dick. And I can okay? understand. We're supposed to win every year. I can understand y'all type of Every year. O'Shea Jackson, shout out to Ice Cube. His son just said, I'm sorry I wasn't born a Grizzlies fan. That I'm used to like not making the playoffs and waiting for a lottery ball to bang around. I'm sorry. That's I get true. that. That's I true get fact. that. That's true Because I'm a Mets fan. So if you tell me. Damn, that shit ain't hurt. And it hurt when we lost to Kansas City. But I'm like, damn, I'm kind of used to that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what it feels like to win three years in a row and not win two years in a row and then win the next year. You know what I'm saying? But now I know. Or don't go to the playoffs. Now I know how that feels as a fan. Because, you know, as a fan, you bonded with your sports, whoever you rooting for. Now I know how that feels with LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Cause I've been a fan since day one, and it's but not that's no trash, bandwagon. But I, okay, you go ahead. But that's trash. It's not a bandwagon shit though. It's just you know what I'm saying. Like I know how it feels to be like oh, a consistent winner. You know what I'm saying. So it's like I'm not. I'm, I understand you. Cause I know how I'm it feels saying, in the NFL like, to be a consistent winner. Cause I'm a Steelers fan. But at the same sure, time, I fan. don't know cause I'm a Jets fan. Exactly. So I know both sides of the coin. You've never been to a Steelers parade. No. I never been to out there. Yeah, I know. You've been to the Yankee Parade, you've been to the Giant Parade. Yeah. That's like me. I don't celebrate any other team wins. I never celebrated the Spurs wins. But you can't say that because, I mean, I never you, you, celebrate. you'll celebrate as hard as you would for a Yankees Parade or a Yankees Championship as you would for um, a North Carolina Parade. A North Carolina I'm a championship. tall hill, though. But that, that's the same. That's not your... City or now, state city where you can't state. go to the parade, but 
you you understand that. So you're not a Michigan State fan like me, where we are consistent in winning, but not championships. Right. But we are consistent in being there, like we here, mm -hmm. Final Four type shit. Is right. yeah. But you a Tar Heel. You I've been to, a Tar Heel. You from lose this. Shit, so bro. it's not where you from all the time, because fans oh, come from everywhere. So. I, 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 yeah, but college to me always was different. College is like that. Cause, I mean, we could sit there and say, yeah, we, we like St. John's or... I'm not, I'm but, not celebrating St. John's one. Yeah, like, they, They're from Queens. <laughs> I celebrate LIU. I'm not celebrating St. John's. Don't get it twisted. If you're not from the city, I guess you don't get it. But I'm not celebrating St. John's. I'm not... I never was a fan of St. John's. But yeah, oh. I like... I support... You know, they always on SNY, so I watch. But yeah, I just met like New York area college team where if they do win a NCAA championship, we could go to a celebration. I'm not, though. Because I'm a Tar Heel. You see what I'm saying? It's, what the mm. fuck? I'm going to put on a Red Storm hat. And I've never worn anything Red Storm. Johnny was any of that. I liked uh, Brady, but I ain't never. Never. Rooting for no Patriots so, or going to their championship parade. Like, nah, right. Nah, nah. So with the Lakers, man. They fans, just like like you said, they, they're actually fans of that, of that team. Just like it's Yankee fans all over the country. Oh, as much yeah. as people don't like to believe it, yeah, it's Knicks Lake fans all over, over this country. Yeah, that that Lakers like, fandom yeah. is it, just different. It, it doesn't start from magic. Niggas fathers was Laker fans of, of Mike Green and all that like, shit. Yeah, yeah, so you know what I'm saying? From so, Minneapolis to the Right, so exactly. it's, it's a little different with the Lakers. I appreciate it. I'm just a New York nigga at heart, so we I feel like we always supposed to speak with them when it comes to basketball. So but shout out to the Lakers. Every uh, major every major East Coast city should be beefing with LA in the sports term. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that's just how it should go. But uh, it's weird though. I'm gonna tell you this. It's three different fan bases for the Lakers. It's the LeBron fans. Well, now in this era? Right now. All right. Since last year. Mm -hmm. Last season. It's LeBron fans. True Laker fans. And Golden State Warriors fans. Yeah, and the, band, I, the bandwagon fans. That is just there for winning in the West Coast. Like Golden State or LA. I mean, not just in the West Coast. Some of them are out here in Brooklyn. And in the Some mix of, the of that, and in the mix of that, you got the um, the bandwagon LeBron fans that's like, hell yeah, I'm a Laker fan now because of LeBron. You know what I'm saying? So in that, yeah, but I count that as Brown. I count that as Bron fans. Bron, Bron sexuals, LeBron fans, and LeBron fanatics. That's the exception. I mean, you can find some niggas like me that's just riding with Bron. That's not like LeBron fans. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, a lot of no more warrior. Which is sad. Because they be back next year. They will literally be back next year. They will literally be back next year. And they might give LA a problem. They might give LA a problem. You know what I'm saying? I'll be a little nervous with the experience of the ego of Denver next year. But let's finish with this year. Um, what you think about this championship? You think it's a it's a well deserved championship? It's a it's, uh, to me it's the hardest um, playoffs I've watched. The uh, NBA all around, like the players all around it. I mean the, the whole setting, the, the whole setting, the whole scenario. I think everything we're gonna that's talk going about this later. I don't think it's LeBron's hardest championship because of the opponent. And no, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not his hardest championship as far as the games go. Yeah, because no. it's still 16. When did he, when he lose? Three games? Four games? This year? In the no, playoffs? Six. Three, six? Two well, just now? One each round until this one, too. Five. No, they swept the first round. No, Portland, five. Remember, they lost game one. Yeah, yeah, they lost five, game. Houston, five, Denver, two. and two, two. So, yeah. Three, five, 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 or six lost five games. Them. Five with Denver? Yeah. They lost five games. They lost five games. Definitely not as hard as uh as far as the games go, but it's I mean as far as being focused, um, staying focused 
all of the distractions, um, thinking of your family, being away from your family. It, it, yeah, more of like a mental challenge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah no fans. You dead in the same it, it hotel room It didn't it affect me. Where it's like, I, I don't need the fans in the building to enjoy basketball. Yeah, yeah. Baseball, yes. But for them to but, keep that energy when you dunk and you get fouled, to be like... <gasps> but they would, but you, if you realize that they started to do it, it was the bench. The, not just the Lakers, but the bench became your crowd. The Clippers, just like watching the Patrick Bas Beverly. Just like they, watching the TV team. Team. Just like watching TV team. I felt like and I was watching an extension of the TV team because the TV team tournament. And that's why when we, when we was talking about the rules, when we said, oh, yeah, that's good for them to spread it out. The players that's not on the roster, you in the last fourth row. Bench players, sec third and second row. Starters in the first row with the coaches and shit. So now it looked like it's a little... A little, little <coughs> distancing going on. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think as far as that, that challenge was tough. And for this playoffs, I think, which is a mental grind in itself, that's why LeBron usually goes black. Yeah. For the playoffs? Couldn't this year. Of course. Because of everything that's going on. Yeah. See what I'm saying? It was more on you mentally, emotionally. And that's on every team, so there's no excuses for the teams that's there. That's on every That's on team. everybody. So it's, everybody. Your mental is not there with everybody. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? But it depends if you do have a good leader, whether if it's the coach or the assistant coach or your star player or whoever, to be like, yo, everybody come to this room. We're doing game night. Everybody go to that room, we doing this. You know what I'm saying? Certain days, you know what I'm saying? Shit, shit where you could keep the camaraderie there. You know what I'm saying? And so, let's, let's not forget the start of the bubble. The Lakers were struggling. When you go back to a few uh, a few episodes before the bubble started, when, oh, when it first started, I talked about it. I said, if they don't get it together, yeah. we're going to be out of here. Because they weren't looking like one of the best teams in the bubble. Yeah. Am, I, am I lying about that? Yeah, they what were, I was saying. They were struggling. And then I, I you yeah. say, you know, they had this. That'd be good. And then they started playing better. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, I think that team was full of uh, veterans that kind of like know when to hit a certain gear. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I think it would have been even worse if they, if Avery Valley would have still been there. I think. When you look at it after it's all said and done, you'd be like, oh, it's like easy. But let's not act like going into that first round. I really thought they were going to lose. A lot of people did, yeah. I'm not saying that because I usually go against growing the high looks. It's just how hot Portland was. Portland was on fire. The matchups. Right. It did look like a problem. It looked like a problem, right? They dispensed them. You could say they got hurt. Cool. They got them out of there. Second round, they're playing Houston. I had them winning. A contending team for the last five years. I had them winning. But people felt like, for some odd reason, without a center, <laughs> Houston get, can beat them. Be crazy on my right? Son, bye, bye. All my tripper. People were picking Houston. Yeah, hell yeah. They got rid of them easier than anybody. Charles Barkley and Paul Pierce. They got rid of them easily. That was easy money. They went against Denver after Denver they came back from 3 1 two times. To the team that was, as Skip Bayless says, they were looking ahead to the Lakers. <laughs> That's not my fault, nigga. <laughs> That's not my fault if me and Cole is both on Mortal Kombat and I'm killing and he look ahead to Montoro, you know what I'm saying? And lose to fucking <laughs> K. <Cable. Sorry, boy. laughs> That's not my fault, nigga. <laughs> You got to keep your eye on the prize. So they played Denver who was scrappy, just like the team they played in the finals. And Denver actually was in position to yeah. be ahead in that series. Yeah, they had a couple miss, miss, miss ups. Miss ups. You know I mean? The Lakers seem like the more mentally tough team. The mature team. Yeah. Can, not mature, mentally tougher. Because mm -hmm. I, I remember even saying to some Lakers fans on my timeline, like, when before the series started, I said, listen, they go down 3 1 against LeBron, it's curtains. Yeah. I don't give a fuck who else on that team. And LeBron people playing. Picking, that. People picking the Nuggets, I did it for the sake of the show, the integrity of the show. So, 
niggas is picking the nuggets outright. Yeah. And I'm like, hmm. Yeah, they came back from 3-1. They said, they but they were down 3-1. You said Twice. They on show, that ain't good. That ain't good. And what well, if they lost? 4 1, right? Mm-hmm. Close curtains. So then it's Miami. I, I actually thought Miami had a shot to go 6 or 7 with them. I said 5. If it was, if they were healthy, it, I could. I think, we'll be, seven. I think we'll be looking at a game 7 tonight. <clears throat> Tonight, yeah, I could have saw seven. I ain't even gonna hold you. I think we'll be looking at a game seven tonight. Just because of their their scrappiness and they play ball very well. They play basketball. Very I well. might have picked Miami. I did pick Miami at seven. Yeah. Or Lakers at six. But I would have had them. You don't want to go against nobody scrappy in one game. Right. Right. What you thought about um the Braun performance? We'll get, we'll get into okay. that later. What you thought about uh Jimmy Butler's performance overall. Oh, man. He, he showed up. I don't know what his overall is in 2K right now, but they got to they gotta up that like three. You got to be like 92? You got to be like 9-7. Ooh. We got to stop playing. <laughs> we got to stop playing. He was killing you this see his series. numbers? Yeah. His numbers? We would like to go to the numbers. 27, 11, and 8. 43 minutes? Boy, in the 43 in game minutes? five, he ain't, he, his rest time was 48 seconds. 14 of those he seconds was when he got fouled and was on the stanchion. Did you see how he was? I thought he had asthma. I said, he's going to miss these free throws. He was hitting my son down with them. Oh, man. Turn around. I like, when he, me? I like his jump shot because, like, Ray Allen, his legs move in the air. Yeah, yeah. He's always been Jimmy Buckets. We always know he can get buckets in a variety of ways. <laughs> and we have to remember that Jimmy Butler was trash in Marquette. <laughs> and he was he was People, the he was the defensive play on Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> he was the defensive stop before. And out of nowhere, they could just say, "Fuck y'all, I'm turning." Like up. the year before, D Wade came, and then when D Wade was dead, I think helped him like grow with the offense. Think so? Yeah. I think the it made year him, before D Wade came, made him get comfortable. With, yeah, because uh, they did the year before D Wade came, he started killing a lot. I think what made him get comfortable offensively is when D Rose went down. Yeah, yeah, the year before D Wade came, oh. or two uh-huh. years. Uh-huh. See, he played for D Rose. No, who? Jimmy Rose. Mm-hmm. That's okay. the team. He had the, the dirty dreads. He was coming off the bench. What year? What year? Kyle, Rose Joe Kim and all. I don't Kyle? know what year it was. Two thousand nine. Cause D Wade got there like two thousand eleven. No. Hey, no, nigga, you tripping? Two thousand seventeen. He was just in Miami for years. Two thousand seventeen. Then he was. Yeah, that's after Miami. Yeah, my fault. My fault. Jimmy Butler was coming off the bench for Chicago. On that Chicago team. Yeah. He was playing. That's why their defense was. Was that they had Joe Kim and Carlos Boozer and Charles Gibson. Yeah, he been in the league like eight. Kirk Heinrich. I don't know why I said him for defense, but they had him. But when D Rose got hurt, remember there was no Luau Ding. There was nobody else like offensive. So I think that's where he got comfortable in the league. You know what I'm saying? And um he's only got better and better. And this finals, this playoffs. I don't know, man. What, what is he? Two to three? Two, three? You swing. Yeah, he played one through three. He could even play the four sometimes. Because if he he could be a matchup problem for LeBron if LeBron is playing the four, you know what I'm saying? I, what, was so he top like five, two guards before, this, before the playoffs? Because he's so. skipping niggas, man. I'm, I'm not taking Bradley Bill before him. He probably was top ten, but now. I'm not taking Bradley Bill before him. And this is why I said... You put Bradley Bill where Jimmy Butler is. He makes Duncan Robinson better. He makes Tyler Hero better. He know. makes Bam better. I don't know. He even had Williams. Why didn't you bring him in? I was like, why didn't you bring the high fly in the game? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know if Bradley Bill makes no, these niggas better? I, yeah, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. You dead ass, because that's your man. 
That but that team is not comparable wow. to Washington. Bro, what I'm asking you is those Brad, young players I'm, I'm are better than Washington. To Washington. I'm comparing Jimmy Butler and Bradley Bill. If you put Bradley Bill where Jimmy Butler is. You, I don't Jimmy think Butler. you take them to the finals, but you I think, think you take them to the playoffs. Yes, hell yeah. The Bradley Bill. When Bradley Bill take, <laughs> take the Wizards to the playoffs. See, now you compare teams. Now you compare no, teams. I'm, I'm, Let's I'm, compare I'm comparing Boston. him. <laughs> I'm comparing him. Listen, man, I don't, I don't, I think he'll take Miami to the playoffs. If he could stay on the court. So he stayed on the court this year. Did he? Yeah, and he, and he made second team All NBA. He get hurt. And Jimmy Butler third team All NBA. He get hurt. Huh? Because he's making his team better. Nah, nah. What the nah, fuck? Nah, 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 nah. Nah. I I don't know. Listen, man. I I like Bradley Bill too. I like Jimmy Butler though. I'm not taking nothing away from Jimmy Butler. I'm not taking Bradley. I just said I don't think he's taking them to the finals, even in this settings as a bubble. And that's why I'm taking Jimmy Butler. Before. I, I'm not. I won't argue with you if right. you do. Like if you, st- right. like if you start a franchise right. so you and you top and three, like, top three, two guards, Bradley Bill, Bradley Bill, all right, top seven. Who one, two, three? Two guards in the league right James now. James Harden. James Harden is a point guard. <laughs> no, because he got Russell Westbrook now. So Come he's on, two what, guards. What the fuck? James Harden, George Pope now. <laughs> You need to say his name right. <laughs> um, two guards. Who the fuck is the two guards in this? Devin Booker. That's top five. Big Book. Big Book definitely top five. Um, Jason Taylor with two, right? No. He had three. He had three. Clay Thompson. Ain't putting CJ in there. See, we'll call him. He not tough. Jimmy Butler, B. Jimmy Butler. One, two, three. You didn't name one, two, three. Jimmy Clay, Devin Booker, James Harden. Yeah, he tough out. Yeah, he tough out. He three or he three or four. I won't complain with that. I won't argue with that. Not, not especially not after the performance he put on against the goal. <clears throat> on him. You know what I'm saying? On him. Um, and I'm, I'm, two triple double wins in the finals. The only player in the NBA history to get a win in the NBA finals with a triple double with thirty plus points. Yeah, forty. Yeah. Um. Tyler I like, I like, I like up, Jimmy Butler. But he couldn't. He just needs some experience. I like Jimmy Butler a lot more um, after this playoffs. Texas boy, man, Stephen Jackson tree. Texas strong. <laughs> So, um, I like this finals. I, it kind of went the way I thought it would go. Yeah, I like this finals. Um, I had another question for you. Oh, um, because I respect it. I, now I really respect him a lot more. Because I, I didn't like him in the beginning. I respected his game during the time he was jumping from team to team. You know what I'm saying? And now I respect him even more. Seeing how he handled himself on the court while he was on the court with LeBron. Oh. Um, with this, with this second ring, and how he did it, and with the two franchises he got in with, Rondo creeping in the top 10 all-time guards, 15, 20. Mm. Look, at, look at his resume, his career. You know Double R, that's my guy, man, made it off. This year, he scored the most points off a bench in M- NBA history. In, in the playoff run, I feel like Rondo don't get a lot of the credit. Either. That's why I'm asking this question: Is can it, he? It bothers me. I don't know. Ten? I don't know why. And I'm saying all time because he got a championship with is. Boston and LA, and he was a major part of both. I mean, in this in this finals is LeBron, AD, and Rondo. Yeah, that's the big three. Right nobody, there. Uh, oh, let me not do that. KCP did his thing for you. Okay, so we had a couple big shots. Uh, but for the consistency, can we trade Kuzma? Six, we can trade Kuzma. Uh, and I'm telling you, we can trade Kuzma. Then I'll tell you, Kuzma. He was like, no. I, listen, I, I, you we know I'm on, on this show. He's on this shit. But you know I wanted to keep him. Now, you was fronting on my son. Now, you wanted to keep him after you seen my son as that nigga, for real. If, if we could have kept him. But I told you, 
Your man is the reason he wanted out. You don't like to dispute that. Can we trade that nigga? We can trade him, man. See, that's all you want to talk about. <laughs> He's there because that's your man pick, bro. LeBron? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. He chose Arabian Nights. And he's trash, bro. I told you that. I said, he getting off now. Because there's nothing else out there, bro. Well, I said, Aladdin. That is Aladdin in the flesh, bro. And he's doomed, son. He's yeah. doomed. They said, they kept, if they had kept B.I., bro, I'd be, I'd be like, ah, I thought I'd make a 30 yard, bro. Lonzo. <laughs> Instead of this nigga. <laughs> Shit. It was <laughs> So I'm like, what's up? Back to the Rondo question. What's up with boy, though? Back to the Rondo question. You think he creeping somewhere in the top list? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't think people give Rondo. That's what I was starting to say. I don't think people give Rondo that credit that he deserves, man, on both sides of the ball. Um, I think it's his attitude, which is... I think he a better point guard. Which is, um, I'm not going to say what I was going to say, but yes, he is. Yes, he is. Steve Nash is flashy. That's a, that's what I got from Brady. He 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 Sunday dinner on defense, bro. You know, you know. I, but definitely, everybody loves Sunday dinner. So you're not going to answer that. I I can't. Like guards, especially when it comes to guards, it's a lot, bro. It's a lot. Top All 10? time. Top ten. All time. This game was based off after like seven, eight. All time, who we hit? You mean point guards? Who or? we hit? Magic, Steph, AI, Isaiah, the original IT. Um, I had Stockton in there. Stockton, Oscar. Come on, Jason Kidd. Come on, hit me. Before we could throw Rondo in there with his championships and his accolades. Point guards. Hit me. You're just doing points. All time. That we 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 are we you had said, seven. You said Isaiah. Yeah. <laughs> we had seven, bro. And you and you thinking of guards now, cause now you be thinking I of, think of I can nice think of guards. Now I think of Pistol Pete. Pistol Okay, of Cozy. oh Cozy. I could think of You don't think he's better than GP? That's we can have this combo. I think that's the argument. What are we talking about? Through, like decorated, like career, what you earned in the career. Everything. We now we talk about everything. Yeah. Game. GP is what's wrong though. Game accolades. How he they because they both led franchises at one point. GP is bust his ass, bro. That's the glove. You're not going to do none of that. Not well, we're not gonna do that. They both, they, I think they come off the same tree, don't they? Yeah, the GP tree. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> 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 can't even see. It's like you telling me Jalen Ramsey better than yeah. Dion, bro. What the fuck is you talking about? I ain't gonna hold you. Um, he creeping in the 15. Uh, yeah, he, he might he might be there as well. Because you said guards. Point guards. So you, now you say point guard. No, I mean when point I guard, when I hear guards, I, I think of all. No, no, I'm he's like, a man. point guard. Yeah, he's the point guard. He's a point guard. Now he might be top fifteen. That ain't no bullshit. He's the um, general. That's that's his nickname. Baby general. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I how long have we talked? I said it on the show. That's why I'm asking now. you this question, nigga. As far as point guards, uh, I'm not taking fifteen niggas. He's below the twenties. That's all. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not taking fifteen point guards ahead of Rondo. And if he repeat with LeBron, history, he could get a little. Bro. In history, yeah, I'm bro. not taking fifteen point. Uh, and they, I, I think of the game game six against Miami. He had a forty three, and a big three ain't do nothing. He got yeah. He got taught by. All he needed was a little help from KG. Yes. He couldn't get nothing to get. To I, did, I'm, I just uh, asked that because I respect I think, his game I think a lot. He'll be more. Top, I think he'd be top 50. I've been begging you. I've been begging you, bro. Watch him. Just watch him. I think, like I say, hit the, the uh, antics, his attitude. I think that's what overshadows his game, and I think that's that's fucking trash when it comes to these players, bro. Yeah. Because that's not what I'm here for. I'm not looking for a role model. Yeah. 
I, I never was in basketball. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to see good games and if shit get acted, people get punched in the face. I play basketball. Yeah. Chris Paul, you get punched in the face. You get you know too close to me. Uh, so I, I don't know, man. But Rondo is Rondo is a yeah, nigga, man. Who got two? What other point guard got two chips? Like in his era. This is ever 2010s. Yeah, for the rep part. Mm -hmm. No point about it. Okay. Now you're gonna chomp me. Shout out to us, sir. Rio. Baby and Jones. I'm going to do. Who wants to? Nobody, yeah, yeah, yeah. but not prominent point guards. Like, we could say Rondo. And that, we and say that what Paul, I'm saying? We like, say sometimes when. We could say Westbrook. Sometimes we say, when you say shit like you say, like, sometimes you have to throw certain shit like that in with LeBron. Like, yo, but he came back 3 1 from this team, you know what I'm saying? All time on Golden State. Or you got to say certain shit that could, you could nitpick and say, but he could be better than him. So with Rondo, you could throw, listen, he's only the second player in NBA history to win a championship with. The Lakers and the and Boston, Boston Celtics. Celtics. And, I mean, this is crazy. He could have played the Celtics this year, but he beat the Lakers to get his Celtics shit. Yes. And they came to the Lakers. And imagine and beating the Lakers. And helped them get back. And still beat a historical NBA team in Miami. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. Miami Heat is a historical NBA team. So. Yeah. <sighs> so, shout out to the four time NBA champ. Four time NBA Finals MVP. Four time MVP regular season. Sixteen time All Star. Man, that Dallas shit come back to sting a lot does, right does, now. Doesn't don't it? Don't it? Doesn't it? Don't it? Doesn't it? Don't it? Because you know what he could be doing next. You know what he could be doing next. Three time All Star MVP. Thirteen time first team. Two time second team. All NBA third team. What? He hit an all NBA 13 one time? Oh, oh yeah. 2019 when he got hurt. Yeah, when he got hurt. still made it. I was going to say that rookie year or when he got hurt. Five-time all-defensive player. NBA all-star, NBA all-defense second team. NBA rookie of the year. Rookie first team. Asterix. He got one scoring title. Assist leader. That rookie shit is an asterisk. And a couple more. Uh, make, uh, uh, he got an Olympic medal. McDonald's, all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Figure out everything like he retired. Nah, I just, because I said I had a little thing. With... <laughs> but um, what you think, or what, what you thought about his performance with this? Oh, uh, game six was amazing. It was the game that I expected. Game um, five to be? Him, from him. Yeah, Jimmy Butler game was that in game five. Jimmy Butler said not tonight. <laughs> but um, game six was exactly what I thought. He would do it. Remember, I told you the longer the series goes, he'll get Finals MVP. But if it had finished in uh, five, right? Mm -hmm. It'd have been eight. I still think it would have been. Mm. But we is depending answers. on who game that was. Like if that's the game, if they AD AD struggled in that game. But I mean, your scenario is like they would have been winning. So who would have been AD, dictating the winning? Right. Remember, I told him, like, they think he won them games. Remember his early playoff games? He got a little hurt in that game. Yeah. Game five. Think he got 45 and 16? Yeah, he getting that MVP. But before you get into LeBron's performance, game six for AD, masterpiece. It reminded me of the Kentucky Championship, where he didn't score productively, but his defense was crazy. He played center field all night. They put they put Caruso in the lineup and put him at the five. He was just down there like this. Whatever you doing, I could come out. I could stay in the paint, mid range, whatever. I'm blocking shots. Oh, that was. Yeah. That's that's what I love to see. Ad. It's what is what I mean in Game Five and where I say you can't you can't question LeBron's heart. Not no more, right? I, I feel like if you couldn't, did, it's just in certain situations like game five, it's like, boy, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, 
Turn around and shoot that fade away. Fuck it. You won. Do you won. Shoot that shit. If you lose, you come back game six, point them out. Like you did. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Like, bitch, niggas just want to see you. Because we got to keep hearing y'all argument, oh, he greater than that, And then when we see that, it's like, it's like I get then I get the meme on Instagram right after that game when Michael Jordan walking past Amara Rashad and he's like, Hey Michael, quick question. Game on line tonight. Who takes the shot? Me. That's a stupid question. It's a stupid ass <laughs> question. I don't give a fuck who you sitting over here. Maybe, and then you see this the Kobe shit when he going up on three Bulls players, they punch his shit, but it don't matter. Yeah. I'm shooting this ball. You gotta be the one to take it. I mean, so it's, I don't it's really that. Into that. I know you don't, because you're a Bron fan. <laughs> but we yeah, that's, that's like before Bron. That's just my motto. Yeah, like, shoot, fuck that. What fuck with the triple? The no, double I team. don't have to. No, be, no, I don't. I know like, what I'm with that's our what I'm team, saying. I don't have to be. You know the double team coming. Fuck blood. that. When that shit come and shoot that shit anyway, before you even get there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's that part what people see, but. You can't question his heart because in game six, after he doesn't take that shot, he puts him to bed. Yeah. Early. Early. I, I turned that shit on. That yeah. shit says 6436. I turned it again. It was nasty. He was said, wild. I said, I watched the fourth quarter. Now. He I'm started just, wilding in I said, the fourth. I said, I'm going to turn back in the fourth quarter. And then the fourth, he was still wild. I was like, yo, Vogel, take him out. <laughs> Take him out. You violating now. Like, he already been doing his thing. Like, what if he get hurt now? Take him out. But I ain't want that to happen. You know what I'm saying? Take him out. But um, his performance was flawless, bro. They left my son Quinn Cook. Yeah, they left You saw that? <laughs> he was on JR Live. But yo, shout Bumble. out to Bron, bro, man. For real, for real, man. I said this bubble was designed for um LeBron to win. And I didn't mean that in the sense of like the NBA is gonna cheat or any of that. I just felt like the chess game that you had to play. Have to play in this bubble, he can do it. Um, <clears throat> I didn't expect, you know, more distractions with you know police brutality and all that, but they handled it well. Yeah. It was a it was a heck of a. Um, I like the final. It, it was. It was I like the cool. whole setup. You know I like. That's what I was gonna say before we get off the NBA. What was your um? What was your best or favorite moments during the bubble? The bubble. My best moments during the bubble. Uh, one of those, I think Utah and Denver games. I'm not sure if it was a game. I think it was game for me five, one or two when he ran into Donovan Mitchell. 50? No, when he ran one. into Donovan Mitchell outside, but they won the game mm-hmm. and he scored 50. That's game one. This yeah. is the next game for me. And then, like you saying, the five and the six game, when they was just going back and forth, 50-50. Either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I enjoyed watching all of that. That was my favorite series to watch. And this uh, playoffs. Yeah? Yeah. That and um, what, which uh, which other one? I think in the West. There was another one that went seven. Denver and, uh, Denver and the Clippers. Even though the Clippers blew it, it was a good series, like entertaining to watch. You know what I'm saying? I think it was another one that went seven. Wasn't it like three seven series? Oh, uh, in the East. Oh no no. Uh, OKC and um. OKC and Houston. Houston. That was a good series. That was fun. And that came out of nowhere. I ain't. I just I think I enjoy watching Denver and Utah more because Donovan Mitchell was well in Denver and Utah. Denver and Utah, yeah. yeah. And um, uh, Murray was well in, and they were down three one. She got like, crazy oh, I'm not going that. home. So, you know what I'm saying? All that that whole shit was just crazy. Portland but, during the regular eight, even um Phoenix, Phoenix during the regular Phoenix eight. Phoenix going eight undefeated games. and missing the playoffs. Um. If they would have won two more games during the regular regular season, they would have been able to get in. Well, if if Karis LeVert would have made that shot against Portland, they would have yeah, won. Yeah, they would <laughs> So, um, I mean, it was dope. I enjoyed it. It definitely was, what, the past three months? Yeah, it was three months. August? Yeah, it was three months. Because the Bronx said they was in there 94 days. Yeah, but they was in the bubble before it started. Yeah, so just Remember about they did some, some 
pre-game shit. They seven. was getting training, yeah. So yeah, just about some, three months. Scrimmages, so well, two and a half. We've been enjoying basketball. The, I know it started in August. Yeah. So about two and a half months. Um. Constant basketball. You sure August? Yeah, bro. It didn't start in July. It started back up in August. A couple weeks before my birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Because remember, you was like, I'm getting basketball on my birthday. Wasn't it playoffs? Was it playoffs? I know. It's fucking. I think they started back in June. Nah, they didn't start back in June. Probably July. All right, we'll just research that. But um, I want to. Yeah, shout out to the NBA, Adam Silver, you know what I'm saying, for hooking up the bubble. Yeah, for hooking up the bubble, you know what I'm saying, and no, no, you know what I'm saying, and no, no COVID cases during this, that whole time. They was COVID free in that bubble, you know what I'm saying? Uh, one, 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 game, one watch. ejection for uh, indiscretions. You know what I'm saying? Only one NBA player was ejected, but his team got eliminated. Yeah, 